Well, hello, Wandering Drew here. I've landed in California. I'm in Fresno right now, staying at the hotel behind me. It's the Best Western in Clovis. And this is where we'll be meeting to go on the trip for the TSX Challenge. Uh, had an interesting flight, uneventful though, just interesting. Um, flew out here early in the morning. I made my boat, made my connection, and uh, they changed some of the times on the flights, but I was able to make it. So I'm gonna go down uh, the street here. I'm gonna try and get some water, which I need. I bring water with me because I don't want to carry it or pack it, even the bottles. And I'm gonna look around for some food because I haven't eaten yet today. And um, gonna explore downtown Clovis. Looks very nice. So I'm in downtown Clovis walking down the street and it's got a real um, like small town feel to it. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, restored or it's designed that way, but it's got, you know, almost like a little town feel to the storefronts in here. Okay, just had lunch and I did have an adult beverage, unusual for me. I'm gonna head back to the Best Western, take a rest. It's extremely hot out here, it's over 100 degrees, and it's going up to about 107 today. So, definitely would not wanna be walking out here for long. But uh, I'm gonna go back to the room, and stay in the shade for a little bit, relax, and maybe do a gear video. I think I might do that. I know I said I would not do a gear video, but I'm back in my room and I figured I actually have time and I do need to do uh, repacking because I have stuff all over. Um, some stuff was not packed, electronics was not packed and I fit everything in the suitcase. And I put it in a suitcase and this is how I packed it. And you can see obviously I have gear, this clothes here. So these are my pants I'll be using. But basically what I wanted to show was my pack fits inside this suitcase. So this is my pack. And here is my trekking poles. So what I wanted to show is this stuff. So here I have my backpack intact, fits right inside. So it's loaded and then I stuck it inside the case and my trekking poles go along the bottom. And if they're crisscross, if they're on a diagonal, I should say, they fit inside the suitcase. And I did use the plastic caps on the end to protect the tips from poking through any of the material. It's Thursday morning. I uh, woke up really early due to the time change that my body is not yet used to. And started going walking in the neighborhood and I found this trail. I'm assuming it's probably more for bikes than walkers, but I'm taking advantage of it. Check back in soon. Walking down this uh, beautiful trail. Just lovely. Uh, it's early here, it's about seven o'clock. Uh, temperature's still probably upper 70s, maybe low 80s before the uh, Inferno, that's supposed to be later. About 105, 106 again. Same as yesterday. Try to stay up last night a little bit so that I could uh, get acclimated to the time zone, but it didn't work out exactly. I'm out about continuing my walk on the Clovis Old Town Trail. Um, pretty interesting. I can't tell exactly how long this is. While I was walking along the streets, I saw what looked like a paved path, and I thought it was just a block or two of a uh, park, but it turned out it's actually this trail. But I guess I'm used to things opening up earlier. Uh, so, most of the stores here aren't open until like 8 o'clock or nine o'clock, so I had walked down pretty much about a mile and a half to one of the stores. Um, I didn't plan on it, I just started walking and then I saw the sign and I decided to go over. It doesn't open for almost another hour. 
it's about 10 after 7 now. So I have about 15 minutes. So I figured, you know what? Let me keep walking on this trail for another 20, 30 minutes. I'll turn around and come back, hit the store on the way back to the hotel. And I'll probably have a good, you know, four mile walk. A little bit. Good test of the legs, the shoes, and burn some calories because I have not been exercising and I have definitely been slacking, carrying too much weight around. And I'm continuing down the trail. Like I said, I have some time to kill. Um, packed up my bag yesterday. I recorded one or two little snippets and I just decided not to do them. But um, I did go through my pack. I repacked it yesterday. I think I'm good, probably in the upper 20s range, maybe mid 20s with water. Uh, no food yet. So we'll see. I did not bring a scale. Uh, one thing I gotta say, I'm pretty fascinated walking here. I've been obeying all the, uh, <laughs> the stop signs and the crosswalks. And the people here, at least the cars, they see you in a crosswalk, they'll actually stop and wait for you. Even if you're like further away and you could finish their turn. So far, I've, everybody has pretty much stopped for me. If they see you here, even in the crosswalk. So good on them for that. Just took me by surprise because I'm not used to that. Um, that's it. I've been uh, basically uh, going through my gear, took out some clothes, packed up my other stuff so I feel like my equipment is pretty much ready I'm gonna do a little walk now like I said stop and get something and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel probably take a shower it's about 75 degrees right now and climbing and then I'll get ready for the day well I'm now walking back I waited till uh, 8 o'clock went to Target and I decided to buy some sunscreen for the trail I figured it was better to have more than less. I'll try to be aggressive and use it since it's going to be so hot out there. And uh, I'm pretty light skinned. I know I'll darken and tan up a little bit, but it'd be good. So I probably walked close to two miles and I'm heading back now. I've got about another mile and a tenth to get to Old Town. I'm assuming that's where this trail ends. I was trying to read the map a little bit. But uh, I think this is great how they do it. Um, I guess there's a street that goes over here. So they have this tunnel on the trail. And obviously the point of me doing this is to show what I'm doing. But also I wanna point out that it just goes to show you that there are trails everywhere and there are places that you can get out and do a little bit of exercise and walk. And while they're not nature trails in terms of like what I'm used to going out in the woods or what I'm hoping to do this week out in the mountains is still something. And this is certainly a place you could prepare and train. You could be walking here with weights. You could be walking with a backpack or you could just be walking with just a bottle of water. And it helps you, improves your attitude, it helps your health, and it gets you ready for the trail. my room after taking that nice walk found that trail really lucky it actually runs right outside the window of my hotel I had no idea it was there it's uh, not as much a trail here as it was further there paved it's part of the sidewalk here but it does pick up it looks like it's a, like a nine and a half mile trail so I wish I would have known about that I probably would have planned better and might have done the whole thing um, but uh, too late for that now uh, the only thing left to pack up is my electronics, which I'll do tomorrow after making sure everything's fully charged and my cables and everything like that. Uh, have a nice walk. Uh, later on tonight, I am meeting some of the participants in the challenge with me. Uh, most of them are staying in this hotel because it is the place we're going to meet and they'll pick us up from here. So I guess it just makes sense to get a room and stay here. You don't have to go anywhere. Uh, we have made plans to meet in the lobby here uh, tonight at around 6.30 or so, and we're gonna go to an uh, establishment nearby, I'm um, assuming to eat, maybe even after to drink, I don't know. Uh, so I'll meet most of them, the majority of them. I think there's one or two people that are not going to be able to make it, but are flying in late tonight. So they won't be able to meet us at that time. So that's it. Uh, other than that, I feel good. Um, if I can, I'll take some pictures tonight and I'll post them in this video, I'll include them. Uh, feel really good. Uh, temperature's climbing, it's like 80 degrees already. 
It's going to take off a dream three or five today. Um, but uh, nice place, nice town. Uh, downtown Clovis, uh, old town as they call it here, is very nice. Um, you know, I, I do the videos obviously to just show you what I'm doing. Uh, it passes the time. I have a lot of spare time. I've been uh, but packing the gear and everything. But I feel like a lot of times I'm just rambling on. And I don't know if it's of interest to anyone. But hopefully someone gets some value out of it. Uh, like I said, my gear is all packed. I don't know how heavy it is. I didn't bring a scale with me. Um, hopefully they have one uh, to figure out how much I'm carrying. But I estimate it's in the... Uh, mid 20s probably remember I have no food I did put water in there I got two liters of water now and uh, that's it I'll pack up my uh, gear tomorrow my luggage I uh, take it with us they'll keep it in the van while we hike and then when we finish the hike I'll be able to come back here I have a room reserved as well for that last night basically to sleep for a couple of hours and then I catch my flight um, early in the morning and the day after the, the challenge ends I wish I would have probably added a day on the end, but uh, I will want to get home and see my family. So I miss them. Uh, once again, I do want to thank my wonderful wife and my family who were very, very supportive um, and allow me to go out and, you know, as I always say, be me, go out and do these activities because it does take, not only does it take resources, money and time away from the family and, um, you know, my wife's out there holding down the fort, so to say, and doing all the things for our family that I could be there to help with, but I'm not because I'm doing this. So I want to thank her again for uh, letting me go out and do this with, with uh, full, her full support, which is nice. It's hard if you don't have that. And I have nothing else. It's pretty much a down day. I'm just going to basically wait until I have to meet them. I have nothing to do till then. I'll probably go through my gear again because I can't help myself and maybe see if I can repack it a little differently just organize it so I feel comfortable with it and I learn where everything is. Other than that, I'm trying to travel as light as possible. I still think I have too much, but everything I have I think is useful and will work out good for me. So that's it for now and uh, hopefully I'll include a picture or two of the group tonight when we get together into the video. Until we meet again.